EDFX geezers, welcome back. Today we're looking at the Line 6 Floor Pod. Another one of Line 6's really good sounding, kind of earthy, honest to goodness, multi-effects pedals. Like all the other Line 6's, in my opinion, it really excels in the crunch tones, in those mid-range distortion tones. The cleans are nice too, the strong distortions are nice as well, but I really think Line 6 is outstanding in that mid-range. Anyway, I won't talk about it at length because I'm going to do a separate video with a tutorial on how to operate this thing because it is so self-explanatory. Even though it's not the most beautiful object in the world, it is extremely ergonomic and a very well thought out design. I'll go into that more in the next video anyway. For the moment, let's just have a listen to some sounds that I've made. <laughs> I can then easily turn into a nice wah sound with a little press of the toe. It's a beautiful rubbery wah sound, especially right towards the heel end. Doesn't really scream out at the toe end of the pedal, but the feel at that low end is really good. So listen to the next patch. so I hope you couldn't hear too much of my acoustic sound from my guitar there, but... It's a beautiful soft modulation. Let's see what the expression pedal gives us for that one. system too. So you can hear the weird decay in this one. And let's put a wire on top of that. As 
this out for a nice bite in the crunch tone. <laughs> of what the floor pod is all about. The interesting thing about it is it's not a ludicrously diverse pedal. It doesn't have a massive number of effects. What it's got is 12 really good crunch tones. It goes right up to insane actually, but I have found with the insane tone that line six developed, that it actually sounds really good if you turn the drive right down to virtually nothing. It turns into this beautiful creamy crunch tone that's really worth exploring. If you turn it right up to insane, then fine, that's insane, but to be honest, I think there are better distortions out there, so I am going to say it again. My advice is to stick to that mid-range. Good classic rock sounds that you can't go wrong with. The wah sounds absolutely fantastic, I think. The delays are very interesting and juicy. One thing I'll say before signing off, you've got equalization, but the treble is very weak. I found I had to turn it pretty much right up with every single patch. The difference between 0 and 10 is, I wouldn't quite say feeble, but it's very, very subtle. But that's a pretty small criticism in an otherwise very solid multi-effects unit. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing on this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, guys!